Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will show you how you can create a simple or a pivot table kind of structure in Tableau Public. So before I move ahead I will just show the data that I have taken. So in the previous video I have shown how you can connect to access database and create joins. So on that basis I have basically connected the customers and order tables and then finally taken those orders where I have the quantity and the price information. So with this information, uh, I have taken all of that into the sheet one so that I can do my data visualization or matrix creation. And here I have the customer's information order items query where I have their order item dimensions and then order table where I have few more dimensions related to the orders. And here in these measures, I have price, quantity or subtotal, all this kind of information which is required. So let's quickly see uh, how you can create a simple table. So creating simple table, it's, it's very easy. You just need to drag the required dimension from this dimension panel and the relevant measure from this measure panel and put it over here as it is clearly indicating that you need to drop the field over there. So for example, if I want to have uh, order category or category of product basically, whether it is cake, cookies, cupcakes and all, and I want the quantity information, like what is the quantity which has been ordered, then I can simply get this information by dragging the value. You can see it has automatically taken the sum of quantity. Sometimes it may happen that it is doing the count but if that is not what you want, then you need to change it by first put, clicking over here and then mentioning and then mentioning the what kind of aggregation you want. So this is how you need to do it by changing it to the required aggregation and figuring out what you actually need as an end product. So this is a simple table, but if you want some kind of a cross tabulation, so something like you want to know this category by the city, in which city the max from which city the maximum orders are coming, then I can just simply put the value over here, or I can put the value here in the column. It's one of the same. So I will just simply put the value or the field over there, and you can see how the information is being segregated across these cities. Uh, for these relevant categories and this is how you can create a pivot table kind of structure for your metric. Uh, you can also change the way uh, it is currently looking if this is not how you want and you want to put uh, city right before the category or right after the category then you need to drag field value accordingly. So if I want city before the category and I can put right before the category or if I want after the category field and I can put after the category and see my relevant information. After this the one last information which I want to show you is that I have taken the quantity over here but if I want the total price of these uh, uh, values for these particular cities and categories of uh, our uh, then I can take the price uh, either drag it down over there or I can basically again click over here and see and go on add it in shelf option and now it is giving me the added rights and what I can do that I can simply put star to indicate that I want to multiply it by price so the price is coming here I'm just selecting the price and hitting the enter as soon as I hit the enter, uh, it has put the AGG, which is nothing but the aggregate function to aggregate the values which I am calculating here in this sum function for this the relevant table which I am showing. So in this way, now I have the total price for each of the category which I have delivered in this particular city. And then you can make your conclusion about from where the maximum sales or minimum sales or moderate sales are coming. So this is a quick video uh, where I wanted to show how you can create a simple or a pivotable structure with some uh, simple calculations like uh, multiplying quantity with price. 
and i hope you have found this useful and i will meet you in the new video with a new topic